right so now we got a nice stabilizer all right so now for the fin tail fin we're gonna right mouse click and select this face press e to extrude and there you have your tail fin all right i'm gonna switch to edge mode all right pressing control tab okay pressing control tab will bring your uh sub object selection so i'm gonna select edge mode right mouse click on one of the edges here and then push it in just like that and you can select this edge here and pull it back all right and the good thing about switching between uh, sub object is I can switch to vert vertice and select this vertice and pull it down. All right. Okay, so now I got a tail plane. All right. So this plane, we we have a basic shape of a plane, but we can still fine tune it. All right. So let's add more detail to the uh, wing. Now in a real airplane, right, uh, the top part of the wing is curved. So it, it generates lift. Okay, if you understand aerodynamics. So let's go to uh, edit mode again. I'm gonna press Control R and add another cut here. All right. So I'm gonna Control Tab and switch to vertex mode, and I'm gonna bring up this uh, middle portion here. Just bring this thing down a bit here, make it a bit thinner. Okay, so. And the wing tip, all right, we can adjust it a bit here. Just bring it down like this. So far, it still doesn't really look like a plane yet, but it will in, in a short while. Okay, so I want the uh, the leading edge of the wing, right, to have a rounded corner. So I'm going to press Ctrl R again and add another loop, middle mouse click here. So right now, I'm still in uh, vertex mode. I can like this edge and pull push it out okay and these I can make it a bit sharper all right this one just flatten it a bit all right and you can select these three groups of vertices by holding down shift and then I can press scale and then it in the z-axis so they will all scale down in the same line like this and perhaps the, my wing is a bit thick, I'll just bring it down a bit. So now it looks slightly better. But our plane still looks a bit boxy. Okay. So what we can do is uh, we're gonna apply a uh, mesh move to it. Alright, so let's go press tab key to go into object mode and I'm gonna add a subsurf by pressing control plus number three. So now everything looks smooth, all right, but it looks a bit strange. Okay, we're gonna fix that. Okay, if you press tab to go to edit mode, you notice the original mesh still exists over the smooth mesh. Okay, because we just added a subsurf modifier here. Alright, so in order to have a very hard edge here, we need to add another edge loop along the wing. Alright, so if I uh, change this to wireframe mode. Perhaps you can see it a little bit better. To go to Wi-Fi mode, you press the Z key. So press Ctrl R. Okay, I'm gonna cut one loop. Left mouse click instead of middle mouse click. Left mouse, and then I just bring the loop to the edge here. All right, and if I press Z again, you notice that now the corner is much sharper. It looks more like a wing. Yeah, I can do the same thing for the tail fin and the stabilizer. All right, so. Press Ctrl R, move it across the edge like this, and then you can see left mouse click, and then just bring it in like this. For the tail fin on top, same thing, Ctrl R, just click on it, left mouse click, and then drag it down. Alright, if you want the edges to be more defined, you just press Ctrl R and add another section here, Ctrl R for the tip stabilizer. Alright. Okay, and you can still edit it with a very a relatively low uh, vertice count okay you can keep on editing this to define the shape of your plane so this example which I'm showing you we can create a very basic looking aircraft right? and now the wing tip right I can add another edge loop here by pressing Control R right okay let me undo that okay press Control R 
and left mouse click and then drag it to the edge. Notice as I drag it to the edge, right, the edge becomes more defined. Alright, so basically you have created the basic shape of an airplane and you can spend more time to tweak it until it looks uh, much better. Alright, of course this is a very very quick example to show you how quickly you can use uh, the subsurf tools and the extrusion tools to create your models. Now of course this model looks very faceted. I'm going to apply a smooth. So I'm going to press A to select all the surface. And I'm going to press W to bring up specials. And I'm going to say set smooth. And now if I go back, press tab to go back to object mode, it becomes smooth. And you got a pretty, I mean a pretty decent looking thing. Right? Although there's uh, still a lot of adjustments that you need to do. Alright, that concludes All right, this second Blender modeling video. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, if you have any questions, okay, please uh, drop me a message. Thanks for watching. Now, what I've shown you is just a very quick method to rough out your models. So if you have more time to adjust and tweak, or bring in uh, good references, this is, uh, I'm going to open up a file to show you an example of what you can do with Blender. Okay, this is a model which I spent several hours working on, alright, and uh, you can see Blender right, is capable of creating extremely detailed uh, modeling. Alright, so I'm going to edit mode to show you how I've actually extruded and added the detail to this model. Okay, you can see the number of faces and vertices and edges uh, is really not that many. Alright, the resulting smooth surface is because of the subsurf modifier. So, with lots of practice and with time, okay, you can also achieve a uh, modeling of this kind of detail. So, keep on blendering and have fun.